sum if s function is an excellent addition to the list of excel functions you can use in your arsenal but sometimes it has limitations and does not allow us to calculate specific condition let's look at specific business problem we have a list of orders sold over a certain period of time with their prices sale date product names and order numbers here's the business challenge we're trying to solve we need to calculate total revenue from wireless headphone sales and flame lamp sales between may and july sum if s formula is the perfect formula to use for this it allows us to define up to 127 range criteria pairs based on the business problem we're trying to solve but can we use it as is to solve this particular business if we just try to add both wireless headphones and flame lamps as additional range criteria pairs it doesn't work it gives us zero as the value as the out and the actual value is two hundred ten dollars and eighty eight cents if you look and calculate the values in this table so how can we solve this business challenge using some if s formula and apparently this problem cannot be solved as easily and the reason is because by default all these ranges add up as end ranges so let me clarify we have a condition like give me all wireless all sales of wireless headphones and all sales of flame lamps and make sure that all the sales are greater than last day in april and um, they are less than the first day in august but there's no such order that would be at the same time sale of wireless headphones and the sale of the flame lamp they just don't exist because they are mutually exclusive there is order for wireless headphone sale and there is an order for flame lamp we would have to use or condition which would state give me wireless headphones uh, sale or give me the order for the flame lamp sale and then sum up the prices so what's the solution here there are two possible options of what we can use to solve this problem so the first one is um, we add to sum if s functions together so this would be the first function for sum if s sales of wireless headphones and then the second one would be sum if s function for sales of flame lamps so once we do that then we get both ranges but because they're mutually exclusive we can't have them in just one formula so once we hit enter we end up with the total amount of uh, 210 dollars and 88 cents if you would like to download the files to follow along Make sure to click the link in the description of this video to download zip file and XLSX files. Now let's continue and have more fun. And the second solution is more elegant. We basically use one formula inside of the other. So look at the sum if s formula first, which is right here. So we do have both uh, wireless headphones and then flame lamps, but you see the types of brackets we use is more like an array brackets that's what they called so we ultimately doing the same thing as in the first formula and on top of that we're doing the sum of both of those conditions so for criteria we're defining an array of wireless headphones and then flame lamps and then we're summing up the results of those sum if s executions of this criteria so try it uh, that should be a fun and uh, challenging uh, business condition to solve. And like I said, I'm going to include both of those solutions in the work file. So make sure to download it. What are the other Excel assessment test questions you'd like me to cover as part of my future tutorials? Could you please post them in the comment section of this video? I really appreciate it. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.